what's going on everybody it's ETA Prime back here again today I'm going to show you how to easily play your PS4 or PS5 games on your Steam Deck using remote play. So I really wish that Sony would make this a bit easier and just create an app that's compatible with Linux but there are ways around this and the method that we're going to be using today is actually quite simple to set up but there's a couple extra steps that we need to take that we really wouldn't need to if it was an official app. What we're going to be using here is an application called Chiaki, and it actually works out really well. So the Steam Deck doesn't have Wi-Fi 6 built in, but it does have Wi-Fi 5, and I'm connected to my PlayStation 5 in the house. Personally, I have my PlayStation 5 on Ethernet, just to keep that latency as low as possible. And with the way I have it set up right now, this is a really amazing experience. I mean, I actually wasn't expecting to get this kind of performance out of it. I'm streaming from my PS5 at 720p because the resolution on the Steam Deck screen is only 1280 by 800. You can do 1080 if you want to, but it's not going to make much of a difference. And yeah, as you can see, I've got full control over my PS5 right now. We can do basically anything we want on the PS5, and we can go right back into gaming mode on the Steam Deck. This will work in gaming mode or desktop mode, it's really up to you. So if you're interested in doing this, I'm going to walk you through it. It's actually a really simple process, but there are a few things we're going to need before we get started. All right, so first up, obviously, you'll need a Steam Deck. Now, this is going to work with a PS4, a PS4 Pro, or a PS5. I'm going to be using my PS5, but I've also tested it on my PS4 Pro. And obviously, you'll need a PSN account. If you've got a PlayStation, you already have that. But one thing I highly recommend is plugging your PlayStation, be it a PS4, PS4 Pro, or PS5, into Ethernet. I personally get much better performance when one of my devices is plugged into Ethernet, and since we're going to be carrying the Steam Deck around, we don't want to tether it, so I would recommend using Ethernet. But if your PlayStation is in an area where you just can't access Ethernet with it, Wi-Fi will work. Either connect to your 5G network, if you've got a Wi-Fi 6 router, this will work out better, even though the Steam Deck only has Wi-Fi 5 built in. So if you're ready to get this set up, let's jump right into it. First things first, we need to make sure that we have Remote Play enabled on our PlayStation. So we'll go to our settings. We're going to find System, Remote Play, and from here, Enable Remote Play. Make sure this is on. We've also got a Pair Device section, and from here, this is where we're going to get our pin. This is going to change every 300 seconds, but this is important because we will need to input this pin. But we're done with the PlayStation side of things. We've got Remote Play enabled. Let's go ahead and move over to the Steam Deck and get this set up. Okay, so I've just plugged in my Steam Deck to an HDMI capture device so we can get a better look at everything. We need to head over to desktop mode to get everything installed. And to do that, we can press the Steam button. Power. Switch to desktop. This is going to switch us right over. Okay, so now that we're in desktop mode on the Steam Deck, let's head over to Discover. This is the Discovery App Center, or the Discover App Center. We're going to download an application called Chiaki. Do a quick search. Got it right here. Now, I would recommend reading through everything from their GitHub, and we'll take a look at that in a second. It gives you a lot of great information, but we need the application on the Steam Deck. So we'll just go ahead and install it. And once it's ready to go, I would highly recommend starting it up one time just to make sure you can see your PlayStation on your network. Like I mentioned, my Steam Deck is on Wi-Fi. My PS5 is actually on Ethernet, but it can also be on Wi-Fi. I just have a much better experience when that's got a wired connection. And they're on the same network. So if I choose Launch here, you can see that it's already detecting my PS5. But we can't connect to it yet because there's a little bit of setup we need to do. But before going any further, I would highly recommend just making sure that you can see that PS5 or PS4 on your network. It's just going to make it a lot easier. I'm going to leave Chiaki open, and we're going to open up a browser. So all links I mentioned in this video will be in the description. I would highly recommend reading through all of this. It's got some great information. It tells you exactly what you need to do to get this set up, but I'm going to walk you through it. So now we're going to head back over to the Chiaki application. We're going to double click on our PlayStation, and you'll notice we've got a host, we've got broadcast, console, but really what we need to worry about is our PSN account ID. I'm going to show you how to get this. It's pretty easy to do. We'll also need a pin. And remember, when we enabled remote play, we can pair a device and it's going to give us a pin. That's the pin we need. It refreshes every 300 seconds, so if you've already done that, you might need to go back and just check out the new pin. 
Our PSN account ID isn't regularly viewable, but there are a few applications that allow us to go ahead and get that, and we're going to be doing it all online. So in the description, over on GitHub, easy way to get your PS4 account ID. So the very first one is going to be online. We want to open this up, and this top section right here, we want to go ahead and copy this. We're going to open up a new browser window. We're going to paste it in. And from here, we need to sign into our PlayStation account. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Once you're signed in, the web page is only going to say redirect. So what we need to do now is copy the URL. We're going to head back to this page here and paste it right in. We can actually paste it by pressing Control V, press Enter. And I've noticed that this freezes up the first time. So what I do is just refresh the page, paste it back in press enter and it's going to give us the information we need. So the very last line here is this is the account ID. You need to go ahead and copy everything that's listed there under this is your account ID. I'm not going to show it on screen. I just want to keep everything private here, but I just went ahead and copied it. Now we can head back to the Chiaki application. We're going to paste it right in here. PSN account ID. We'll also need to put in our remote play pen. So you can head back over to your PlayStation to get that. All you need to do is go to settings, system, remote play, pair device, and the pen will show up. Once we have all this in place, we'll choose register. And if it worked out, you'll get a message stating that you've successfully registered your PlayStation. So I'm on a PS5 right now. I'll choose okay. And we can actually start streaming right now in desktop mode, but there are a few settings that I usually like to change. So from the settings icon, we can actually go over here and change the resolution 360p up to 1080, but remember PS5 and PS4 Pro only for 1080. I usually leave it at 720p because the screen on the Steam Deck is only 720p and it's going to work out just fine like this. You can also remap all of your buttons if you want to, but everything seems to work really well out of the box. And in gaming mode, we can actually use Steam to reconfigure our controller. And there's one button I usually set up. That's the PlayStation button. I'll show you how to do that. But first, let's make sure everything's working. We're going to go ahead and double click. Just make sure we can connect to our PlayStation. And it left off right where I was. So yeah, you can use the controls on the Steam Deck to navigate your PlayStation, whether you're using a PS4, PS4 Pro, or a PS5. But I completely understand that a lot of people don't run their Steam Deck in desktop mode, so let me go ahead and show you how to set this up in gaming mode. All we really need to do is add the application to Steam, so we're going to shut it down. So from Steam, we're going to go up to Games, add a non-Steam game to my library. We're going to find Chiaki right here. Add selected program, and you might want to change this image here because it's just going to be blank. We can actually go over to the Steam Image Database, I'll leave a link in the description, and download a banner and an image. I'm just going to right click, add an image, find that image I downloaded, and we've now got artwork for Chiaki. So with that set up, let's head back over to gaming mode. So now that we're back in gaming mode, we'll press the Steam button, Library, we're going to head over to Non-Steam, and you can see we've got Chiaki listed here. So I'm just going to select it, and there's one thing that I like to do. I want to set up a PlayStation button just to easily get me back to the menu on the PlayStation. So I'm going to go to the little controller icon, Edit Layout, and from here, I set my right trackpad as Escape. So when I click my right trackpad, my Escape key is going to act as our PlayStation button, because that's how Chiaki has it configured. But now we can start playing our PS4 games or our PS5 games on our Steam Deck. All right, so here we are. We'll go ahead and launch it. Now, one thing I've noticed is in order to get this launched, you have to tap it three times. I guess that first tap is just kind of an initialization, but it should go right into your PlayStation. We're controlling the full system right now. And one cool thing about this is the Steam Deck isn't going to be pulling much power at all. I've got everything turned down from my GPU to the TDP on that CPU. And basically, we're only pulling around 8 watts with the whole unit. And all of the heavy lifting is being done on the PlayStation's end. So you can get really great battery life out of the Steam Deck while using remote play or streaming from your PlayStation. But that's going to wrap it up for this one. Really appreciate you watching. All links for everything that I mentioned are in the description. 
And like always, thanks for watching.